Good after, good evening, good evening, good evening. This is Saturday evening. Glory to God. Hello, 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 good people. It is July the 11th, 2020. I am back at you once again. This is Minister Chandra Brundage at Facebook Shine, standing for the now factor, T-N-O-W-F. Whatever you're going to do for Christ, do it now. Glory to God. I'm hoping I pray, as I always say, that you are safe, number one, sound in your right mind. Glory to God. Able to use the activities of your limbs today. If you woke up this morning, God is not through with you yet. And I want to encourage you and say that today. It's not too late, glory to God, to do what it is that is for Christ. Whatever you want to do, whatever you should do, whatever you ought to do. For Christ, do it right now. It's not too late. Glory to God. But I am here with you today just to, um, you know, give a message out to pertaining to the word of God today. Yes, God has spoke again. He spoke to me today. Glory to God. And I am grateful. And I just want to encourage someone out there. Glory to God to have trust in God, have faith, continuous faith in him. That he shall move, glory to God, any mountain that's in your life. And he shall move on all of our behalf, glory to God. We know what we're facing right now, glory to God. But we're going to speak things to be not as though that they were, glory to God. And trust God to speak his word and it will come to pass, glory to God. So I just want to pray right now, glory to God, just to give God the honor and give him the glory. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for your love today. I thank you for your grace, your mercy, your truth that it do it forever. I thank you, Father God, just for allowing Allowing me, glory to God, to just make it one more time, glory to God, make it one more day, glory to God, to worship you in spirit and in truth, glory to God, and giving a message and giving a testimony to your people. I thank you for allowing them, glory to God, to have a, another day and another chance. Glory to God, to do a work for you. Glory to God. We trust you, Father God. Hallelujah. We believe your word. Glory to God. And nothing shall separate us from it. So right now, we ask you to speak. Glory to God. Right now, allow your word to go out into the atmosphere. Father God, whoever needs this word that you have spoken today, whoever, glory to God, needs to be encouraged, glory to God, to be sheltered by you and through your spirit, we ask that you move right now. In Jesus' name, we pray and we thank you and we glorify you. In Jesus' name, glory to God. Hallelujah. I just never want to, you know, go forth without giving God the praise and the glory and the honor and just giving him the leeway. You know, and doing whatever that it is he wants to do. Glory to God. So I'm going to jump right in. It, it, it's, it's late evening. Glory to God. And I don't want to keep you too long. But I did want to share with you uh, once again in my uh, life-inspired uh, poems for the soul. I want to share with you uh, another one of my poems. Glory to God. I, I wrote this once again in 2012. Hello, beautiful. Back to you. Hugs and kisses. Glory to God. I wrote this back in uh, 2012, glory to God. And if you would, you know, if you like poetry, if you want uh, a word of momentum, a, a push and a press toward your destiny and your purpose, you can uh, find this book, uh, lulu.com. That's L-U-L-U.com. And again, it's entitled Life Inspired Poems for the Soul. Now, the poem that I'm sharing with you today is uh, God Speaks. Okay, I'm going to get right to it. God, you speak through your word that when weapons formed against me, I can be preserved. Yes, I reach a word. It's in my heart. But sometimes when the battle comes, I'm not always smart. God, you repeat your word to me to live and to be a conqueror. Again, I lose and have to start all over. I know your mercy is everlasting and great. So is your grace. I just don't want to continue to grieve you to your face. Lord, continue to speak your word to me. Pick me up when I fall so I can be who you want me to be. Glory to God. God speaks. That was the name of the poem. And I dedicate that poem to any of you that's out there. Glory to God who continue to fall, you know, by the wayside, continually to do things, you know, your way, you know, and you finding out that it's not the way that you should go. I'm letting you know it's not too late. Glory to God. Yes, we have grieved him by being disobedient to the call that's on our life, 
you know, to call glory to God, you know, and the actual command of what he has given us to do. But again, it's not too late. God is speaking to you. Glory to God. A lot of times we say, well, something told me to do something told me to go. No, that something is him. And what we want to do is when God speak, we want to listen. Amen. Glory to God. So today, what uh, God was dealing with me about was nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever, but only God's word lasts forever. I was on my job the other day, glory to God, and God was beginning to speak with me in regards of a situation. And I heard him say, nothing lasts forever. Glory to God. And I want to tell you that today, that nothing lasts forever. If you don't have the word of God, you have nothing. Glory to God. Remember, I shared with you in the book of Acts uh, 17 and 29. It's because of him we live, move, and have our being. Okay? So, uh, to read, if you want to read in your Bible uh, concerning nothing lasting forever but the word of God, proof is in the Old Testament, Isaiah, the 40th chapter, verse 8. That's again, Isaiah, the 40th chapter, verse 8. You can also go to the New Testament, 1 Peter 1 and 25. 1 Peter 1 and 25. And lastly, you can go right to the New Testament as well, Matthew 24 and 35. Again, that's Matthew 24, 35. I just want you to read that for yourself. That again, nothing lasts forever, but only God's word lasts forever. OK, and remember this, God's word is sufficient for our satisfaction. We look for a lot of satisfaction in our life and we are not satisfied. Have you ever looked in places and in people for things that you really needed within and couldn't find nothing? I have. And that's why I can share with you today. Nothing lasts forever but the word of God. And when I began to, you know, uh, look at myself the way God saw me and accepted the call that was on my life, glory to God, and I began to move, glory to God, that was satisfying. Glory to God. I want to run to do whatever God has called me to do. And you should do the same. Remember to shine and allow men to see your good works and glorify your father in heaven. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And also remember this. Not only is God's word sufficient for our satisfaction, but the word of God reaches to all cases. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Whatever the case, God's word reaches to all cases, to all times as well. So it doesn't matter what season of your life that you're going through a wilderness experience. It might be dark. It might be, you know, cold. Okay. But remember God's word reaches all cases at all times. Glory to God. God's divine promise. Do you know that God promised you something? He has promised you something eternal. Remember nothing lasts forever. But only God's word lasts forever. And he has promised you life eternal. Glory to God. I don't know about you, but I want to have life eternal. And that's what I'm encouraging you today. God has promised you something. Not only can you enjoy the blessings and promises of God here on earth. Glory to God. But there is something thereafter that he has promised. And that's once again eternal life. So if you have not given your life over to Christ, do it today. Salvation is today. Don't wait till tomorrow. Glory to God. He has had his, uh, his hands wide open for you. Glory to God. Stressed out. Stretched completely out. Waiting for you to come. Glory to God. So he can satisfy your soul. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because that's the only thing that could satisfy our soul. And that is the word of God. Yes, eternal life, it extends itself to all our burdens, no matter what you carry in today. I know times are hard. Glory to God. The situations and the circumstances that we're facing as a nation, as a global world, glory to God, it's hard. Hallelujah. We all have to battle some things. We all have to endure some things. 
Glory to God. But how many of you know that we can do all things through Christ that strengthen us? All the burdens that you're carrying. Remember, the word extends itself to you. Glory to God. All your wants and all the things that grieve your spirit. God is forever. He's, to, he's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He never changes. Remember, nothing lasts forever, but the word of God lasts forever. Glory to God. And remember, the word uh, extending itself to all our burdens, wants, and, and grievous things that, that hurts our hearts, etc. That will make a portion and happiness for us. So if you're looking for happiness in somebody, people, places, and things, I am telling you today, there is no satisfaction in it. None whatsoever. Nothing lasts forever, but the word of God lasts forever. Glory to God. I want to take us over to Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, verse 14. You can go with me now. You can read it on your spare time. But don't forget, Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, 14 verse that's in the old testament of the king james version bible and what that talks about is whatever god does lasts forever that's just some more proof for you i don't never want you to take my word for anything but i'm giving you proof based upon the biblical word of god hallelujah where you can go and you can be fed and be satisfied Remember, Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, 14 verse, it says, whatever God does, it lasts forever. Whatever he does, glory to God, it lasts forever. You can also go to uh, 2 Corinthians. That's in the New Testament. The fourth chapter and the 18th verse. Remember that. 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter and the 18th verse. And what that talks about, Glory to God. You want to read it for yourself. But I can sum it up for you right now and tell you to be careful. It won't last. Whatever you're trying to make last, whatever you're trying to force to make happen, it will not happen unless you put the word on it. Unless you put God in it. Remember, nothing lasts forever, but the word of God lasts forever. I'm talking about the things that we have, that we possess the things that we can actually see with our eyes, okay? Houses, riches, lands, whatever it might be here on earth that we can see. The things that cap you, captivates our flesh, okay? That will not last, but only the word of God will last forever. Now, we will only uh, desire the things that captivate our spirit, Okay, God is a spirit. I'm encouraging you to know this today. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Okay, so anything once again that captivates your flesh, it doesn't last. It can't stand a chance for eternity. But again, the things that captivate your spirit man. Okay, that leads you closer to destiny and leads you closer to purpose. That's it, that is what will last for eternity. Remember to shine glory to God so men may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven. Shine the now factor. It stands for whatever you're going to do for Christ. Do it right now. Hallelujah. Don't wait. Glory to God. You don't have to wait no longer. Do what you're supposed to do for Christ. Do what it is that he has called you and purpose for you to do. I just want to share with you 1 John 2 and 16, where we were talking about the things that do not last, okay? The things that captivates our flesh. We're talking about the lust of the eye. The things that we, 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 we desire, you know, have a passion for. That's not the will and the things of God. We're talking about also the lust of the flesh, okay? The eye leads us to sin. Our flesh Glory to God is it, it, it basically commits that sin. We, we act that thing out through our flesh. You understand? And also the pride of life. The pride of life. God wants humility from us. He don't want us to be proud and puffed up, you know, being wise in our own content and our own consent. OK, but he want us to be humble. He said he ex he will exalt the humble. 
Glory to God. Uh huh. In due time, somebody, I'm talking to you. You have glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, a uh, uh, expected end. Okay. I don't want to forget what I'm saying here. The pride of life, being arrogant, being humble. He said he would exalt in due season. That's it. In due season, somebody out there, glory to God, has a due season, meaning you've been faithful. Glory to God, you've been doing what it is that God has called you to do. Glory to God. So yes, you have a due season. And if you are not doing what God has called you to do, come on, I'm encouraging you to shine. Do the work. Glory to God. He has a reward for you. Okay? And again, the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, those are things that captivate our flesh. And remember, that doesn't last forever. It's temporary. We don't want to be fooled, glory to God, on the temporary things that we see and what we could possess. But we want to, glory to God, allow our spirit to be captive, uh, you know, captivated by the things of God. And that is things of the spirit. Okay? So, let me go here to Psalms 119. Psalms 119, verse 96 you can actually read 89 through 176, but we want to focus on 96 verse of Psalms 119, verse 96. It talks about a end to all perfection. Okay? What we think is good on this earth. What we think looks good, sound good, feel good. What we perfect to be right or wrong. Okay? And a value. You know, what God doesn't uh, take as a value, sometimes we take on that value. But God said, wait a minute. You know, let me lead you. Proverbs 3, 5th chapter, it says, lean not to your own understanding, but all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Let him put a, a, a value on you. Let him put a value on the things that, you know, that you possess. Let him put the value on it. We can't do it. Glory to God. And David, he was the, he was the actual author of the book of Psalms, uh, 119 and verse 96. It was a testimony of David from his own experience. How many of you know we need our own experience, our own encounterment with God to understand, glory to God, that nothing lasts forever, but only the word of God will last forever. You know, we'll try a thing, we'll do a thing. And it just keep failing. But we continue to try that thing. You know, and it's not working. I just want to tell somebody, if it, if it don't work, glory to God, don't try to fix it. Okay, if it don't work, don't try to fix it. Let God do it. Glory to God. He's the, he's the um, you know, the potter and we are the clay. He shapes and he molds us into who we supposed to be. Glory to God. So this is what David was saying about the vanity of the world and its insufficiency. Remember I said God's word is efficient for our satisfaction. And I also said the word of God reaches to all cases, to all times. God's divine promise, which is again eternal life, extends itself to all our burdens, wants, and grievousness. That will make a portion and happiness for us. So this is what David talks about. He's talking about the vanity. Things of no value. Things that do not last forever. Remember, nothing lasts forever. Only the word of God lasts forever. And this is what David said. Okay. He said, I, I have seen a end of all perfection. Poor perfection. Which one sees... An end of. Yet such are those things in this world which pass for perfections. He said which pass for perfections. You know how we try to make a thing be? We're in denial. We're not taking it for what it is. Yeah, talking about those things in this world which pass for perfections. But remember, nothing lasts forever. Only the word of God lasts forever. 
Glory to God. So I'm telling somebody, get a hold to God. Hallelujah. He will never leave you, never forsake you. He will be with you to the end of this world. Just try him. Glory to God. Just try him. If you haven't tried him, try him. I'm a living witness. He will not let you down. Glory to God. Now listen at this. The quicker we realize nothing lasts forever, we will start living. I said we will start living. So what am I saying? A lot of things that we have made of value, we have made as though that it was a perfection. It, it, it doesn't last. It can't stand the test of time. Okay? So again, the quicker we realize nothing lasts forever, we will start living. And when we try to make things work and make things happen, that means we, we, we're not living at all. Because why? God is not in it. Glory to God. We've taken things, glory to God, that, 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 that is not of him and we call it something. Glory to God. That's, that's not life. Glory to God. To, to, to reject the things of God, that's not life. But the obedience of him is life to your neighbor. That's what the word of God say. The commandments of God is life to our neighbor. When we obey him and when we trust him and we put our all, glory to God and surrender our all to him, that's life. So again, the quicker we realize nothing lasts forever, we will start living. And I'm telling somebody out there right now, live, glory to God, live, glory to God, hallelujah, just live and you'll see that life is only through the word of God. John 1 and 1 says, in the beginning was the word, the word was God, the word was with him. Hallelujah. No matter what we do, if we leave God's word out, I'm sorry to tell you, but we would not make it. I have to be honest with you. Glory to God. That's me. That means me too. Glory to God. I won't be able to make it without him. Remember, nothing lasts forever, but only the word of God lasts forever. And not only would you start, you know, living once you realize nothing lasts forever, your life is better. <laughs> you know, you'll be able to live to live again. You know, I, I say this to, uh, a lot of time. This is like the dress up room here on earth. We're, we're being prepared, you know, to go to another place. Now, somebody don't want to hear that, but this is the word of God. This is the dress up room. We are preparing ourselves to go to another place. Nothing lasts forever, but only the word of God lasts forever. Glory to God. Let him prepare you today. Let him prepare you for a good work. So when he comes back for you, he can find you working. So again, live now to live again. Knowing that you have eternal life, that does make life much better. It makes it much better. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I just want to tell somebody to stop. Hold on and pump your brakes. Okay. Stop holding on to things. Stop holding on to stuff and people. Because why? They won't last forever. Things and stuff don't last forever. Things that you tend to, you know, to medicate yourself, to make you happy. It will not last forever. Remember, nothing lasts forever. But the word of God lasts forever. Hallelujah. I, would, I just want to tell somebody, let it go. Let it go. Glory to God. And let them go. <laughs> if it's a them, let them go. Hallelujah. I'm a living witness. When I let it go and when I let them go, I begin to live. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In destiny and in purpose. That's where it's at. That's where life is. Life is in your purpose. Life is in your destiny. Shine. Glory to God so men can see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Shine. Hallelujah. The now factor. Glory to God. Whatever you're going to do for Christ, do it right now. Hallelujah. You can go to Isaiah 43, 18 through 19. Again, Isaiah 43, 18 through 19. It talks about the past. When I told somebody to let go, yeah, that's the, let go of your past. 
You're wondering why you can't move forward because you're holding on to something. God say, let it go. Hallelujah. Isaiah 43, 18 through 19. It talks about the past is something that should be forgotten. Okay. The past is something that should be forgotten. Unfortunately, a lot of people let it define them. Don't let your past define who you are in God. Yes, we all have made mistakes. We all have, you know, came from somewhere. Yeah, yeah, but don't stay there. I was talking to the Lord the other day and I, and I shared it with some individuals. I said, it's not about your hangups. It's not about your downfalls, your setbacks, but it's all about the get up. Hallelujah. Yeah, you fail. But the question is, are you going to get up? Yeah, you said the wrong thing. You went to the wrong places. But are you going to get up? Yeah, I'm telling somebody, get up. Get up. God has gave you grace and he gave you mercy. So again, there is hope. Glory to God. And walking out your purpose and walking out your destiny. Just uh, once again, do not let your past, you know, define who you are in God. Hallelujah. I said often, and I'm going to say it again, the race is not given to the swift or the strong, but it's given to the one who will endure. Come on, somebody. God needs for us to endure some things because why? He want to bless us. Yeah. The, the, he want to bless us with the things that last. Remember, nothing lasts forever, but the word of God lasts forever. He want to bless us with things that will satisfy our soul, not our flesh. Remember the things that captivate our flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life and the lust of the, uh, the lust of the eye. I'll say it once again. That's found in first John two and 16, the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh and the pride of life. It doesn't last forever, but God want to bless us with things that will satisfy our soul and our spirit. Hallelujah. So once again, do not let your past define who you are. If I would have let my past define who I was in God, I wouldn't be able to be here today sharing this word with you today. Yeah, but I walked, I, I, I walked out on faith and I said, God, if you said I can do it, I'm on my way. Glory to God. If you said I'm, I'm, I'm able, glory to God, and your grace is sufficient enough, then I trust you, God. And that's what we got to do. We got to walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. He said in his word, the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. We want to remember the words of God when discouragement try to set in. When shame try to set in. When guilt try to set in. Glory to God. We want to come back to his word where there's satisfaction. Remember, nothing lasts forever, but God's word lasts forever. Okay? So again, there is hope for you to walk in purpose and walk in destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I praise God today for his mercy and his grace. So I just have one question for you. Do you have the power to endure? How do you receive the power to endure? Remember I said, glory to God, there is, there is a satisfaction in the word of God. Yeah. The word of God. So what? We have to take his word for what it is. If he said it, glory to God, it will happen. I, my mind goes back to Genesis, the first chapter, glory to God, where it says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, but darkness was upon the face of the deep. Glory to God. And the spirit, glory to God, was up, up, up on the waters. Glory to God. And this part here, God said, let there be light. When God spoke, light just came. And that's what we got to do. We got to speak things to existence. Glory to God. We got to speak things to be not as though that they were. Yeah. Yeah. We got to speak that thing. Life and death lies in the power of our tongue. So you have to be careful what you say. Hallelujah. Yeah. You have to be careful what you say. Glory to God. So I'm praying for you today. Hallelujah. That again, if you have not gave your life over to Christ, that you do it right now. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. All you have to do is confess your sins to him. Glory to God. Ask him to forgive you for your sins. Accept him as your Lord and your Savior. Believe that he died on the cross. Glory to God and share innocent blood for your sins that you may have life eternal. Glory to God. And from there, glory to God, you will get baptized. Glory to God. Hallelujah. As the book of Acts talks about. After you receive, glory to God, the Holy Ghost, you shall receive power. So remember, I asked the question, do you have the power to endure? Hallelujah. If you go through that process, yes, you now have the power to endure. If you have given your life over to Christ, you have the power right now. So all you have to do is move. Trust God and move by his spirit. Remember, walk by faith and not by sight. And always lean on the word of God. Hallelujah. Because nothing lasts forever. But only the word of God lasts forever. I love you. Glory to God. And I'm going to let you go. Glory to God. Because I'm going to get comfortable myself. Okay, but I love you with the love of the Lord. This is again, Minister Chandra Brundage at Facebook Shine. Glory to God. Hallelujah. T-N-O-W-F stands for the now factor. Whatever you're going to do for Christ, do it right now. Glory to God. And remember, if your friends, your family do not have uh, social media, I have a YouTube page. You can go to Shine Redemption. Redemption is one of the books that I wrote. You can also, uh, in a search box, go to Shine, tap into your core. There are some snippets there. Glory to God for you to, you know, go back to whenever you want and uh, be reminded of some things, you know, and, and also just to hear my testimony. Glory to God. And then also I will be uploading any other messages. Glory to God from there. I just uploaded uh, one the other day. I'm going to upload this one. So again, if you have any family and friends without social media, tell them to log on to shine. Glory to God on YouTube. So until next time, I love you. Peace.